first one for you, Jago. Uh, do you have any advice for women brewing in the industry or for women in general involved in the industry? And that's from Jess, who's in our sales team at the back over there. Um, I would say um, things are going in a generally a, a more positive direction now than they were when I first um, started working in this industry. You see a lot more women around generally and a lot more women in more powerful positions. Um, like women who are becoming obviously head brewers, business owners, sales managers. Um, and that's kind of the direction we need to continue to go in collectively. One of the most useful things that I found it has been part of um, female-led groups. So um, in London, we have the Crafty Beer Girls. Um, I know in Liverpool, there's Lady Step Beer. Um, there's the Brum Beer Babs. There's the uh, Glasgow Ladies. Um, so there are groups all around the country. And for me, that's been a, a really amazing support network. But I, I, I would say um, to any women in the industry, get educated. There is an, a kind of a need, and I'm not saying it's necessary, I'm saying it's something that I found um, that's been a requirement of my career has been something to be more provably educated in a way. Unfortunately, it's a terrible thing, but unfortunately it's been something that's um, um, being very positive in my career has been get that sh get it on paper. If that makes sense. If anyone questions you, you're like, oh, let me just because you just here's my piece of paper. <laughs> because you're held to a higher standard. Does that so make sense? Part, yeah. yeah. So, so and it, it's it's not a nice thing, but but I, I found that really helpful um, is to get it written down um, and yeah, j just j j j just generally go for it. I mean. I don't know what it's like for you guys. I mean, it's one of the things that I that I found generally when like interviewing people that there is a um, like often often women don't say um, like the things that they're awesome at in in a way that sometimes a man does, um, and often they undersell themselves in, in the opposite way to to um, a man does. But I I, I would just say. Um, always, always go for that, especially internal promotions and, and that sort of thing. Even if you're underqualified, um, show that confidence, even if you don't feel that confidence. Um, and that can be um, really helpful. So I don't know if that's helpful to you, but... Um, no, yeah. you. <laughs> and one more um, local business group. or local group to the list you mentioned there, because she'll kill me if I don't. <laughs> uh, Women on Tap is organised oh, by yes, yes. our very own Rachel Otty, um, who is our head of marketing. Um, and they do a festival each May, I, believe, I think it's in May, Harrogate, yeah. in Harrogate, which is all about women in the industry, uh, how they're advancing, um, and yeah, and it's it. a really good thing, so mm -hmm. you need to get down to it if you, if you can. And then um, we just got another shout out, um, you've already brought Barrister a couple of times today, but um, Nadia um, led the brew today, didn't she? So Nadia um, joined us as an apprentice about 18 months ago. During that time, she's been promoted three times. We took her off the apprentice program early. And just this week, she's found out she's qualified with distinction. Yeah. Yeah. So, as promised, I now owe her a very special bottle of beer. Yeah, so. she's, she's done so well. And then, yeah, when the, when the um, examiner came in, um, I kind of felt I had to, to avoid the brewery because I didn't want to walk in and, and like do something contravening health and safety or something in front of um, someone being examined. Not, like, not have your high vision or something Yeah, exactly. Like like today. Yeah. Uh, but no, she's she's done so well, and, um, and the, the, the team as well have, have, have helped and supported her, and and, and she but she's she's been a breath of fresh air, hasn't been in learning, going on the scheme, and actually I, she's been brilliant, massively yeah. advancing um, what what we've been doing as well. But it's not about male; it's not about being female. I, I know I'll be putting words in your mouth here, but you don't like to be referred to as a female brewer. You're a brewer first. It just so yeah. happens that you're a female that is a brewer. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those things where obviously it's it's something that gets picked up a lot. But um, I mean, I make award-winning beers. Mm. You know, I mean, I, I'm I'm successful in my own right. I, I am a woman, and that's fantastic. Mm. But I'm a, I'm a, I've always been a, a brewer first when it comes to making great beer. So exactly, drink drink the beer, and people will, will enjoy it. And then when they learn more about you, then that's a bonus. But the ultimately, you make great beer, and that's the the key, isn't it? Yeah. 